I have seen personally the damage what viruses can cause. But imagine if we can reprogram them and they can cure diseases. I always like science and my parents have been extremely supportive with my investigative nature. Even when I blew up a corner of the cellar with my chemistry experiments. But on a personal level, in the 50s there was a polio epidemic around the world. Tens of thousands of children got paralyzed. I was one of them, but I was lucky because I recovered after a short period. That was the point when I thought that medical science can make a huge difference. And indeed, it did. At university, I studied microbiology and biochemistry, and I did my PhD from theoretical organic chemistry. We came to Australia in 1985, and there was the University of Western Australia, which was an excellent place to continue with my research. I moved to the Lion's Eye Institute, and that was the point when I set up the Molecular Ophthalmology Research Group, which has been operational for 26 years. In the back of the eye, there is a small area called the macula. It's extremely important for reading, writing, face recognition, driving. So age-related macular degeneration is a huge problem. It's the major cause of blindness in the elderly around the world. The most devastating form of the disease is wet age-related macular degeneration. What is causing wet AMD? turned out to be a factor which encourages blood vessel growth and it is called VEGF. Recombinant DNA technology allows us to change the genetic makeup of a living organism like a virus and we can convert them into useful delivery vehicles into living cells. The question I asked was, could we use the same delivery method to deliver a medication into the back of the eye? Basically to establish a miniaturized biofactory on the spot where the disease is happening for a long, long period of time. In 2011, we recruited 40 patients. Two thirds of them were treated with gene therapy and one third with the monthly injections. So the gene therapy not only was safe, but the patients who actually improved their vision were all came from the gene therapy treated group. When I first saw properly from that eye, it was like a star lighting up. It was a beautiful feeling. So in summary, it looks that the biofactory after three years remains operational in the eye of these people and it appears to mop up the extra VEGF. I feel that my part and others that took part in this program will help many, many other people to maintain their sight, not lose it. I think the way we treat disease is changing. And I think recombinant DNA technology is delivering a new way of treating disease. Winning the CSL Flory Medal is fantastic and I accept it in the name of all my colleagues, scientists, doctors, nurses, patients who participated in this work over 20 years. And I am delighted, you know, that uh, our work is recognized this way.